Good afternoon, folks. For those who missed the morning show, the sun woke up today and chose violence. Multiple eruptions directed at Earth, and this is the initial analysis of those solar flares. To begin, here is today's X-ray flux, and it is the two longer duration flares we're focused on, as they are what released the coronal mass ejections. Bright active region centered here, you will see two eruptions. The coronal ripple outwards and faint plasma ejection are visible for both events. Watching closely here, we've got one, and then there goes the second one there. The coronagraph differentials are up next. First eruption is clearly a full halo CME here, and even though the data is slowly coming in on the second, we can see that there is also a full halo event to that one. This means that both are likely heading this way. Now, only the first one is updated on the endless spiral, and it appears the coronagraph analysis is correct. NOAA forecasts a direct impact of high density and moderately high plasma speed late on the 10th. That would be Friday afternoon or evening for those in the U.S. and Canada. And of course, they should be updating to put the second eruption on here in the coming hours. But wait, there is more. In just the last few minutes, one of the plasma filaments on the north erupted as an M-class flare occurred at the sunspots. This one also has a very good chance to be Earth-directed. So folks, we definitely have two CMEs heading this way, and possibly a third. It is safe to say that the KP index is going to be rising as they impact over the weekend. We'll be checking updates in the coming hours, but I would expect a KP of between 6 and 7, and if the third one is aimed our way as well, it could reach KP8. We'll be right here watching for more eruptions and more data updates. Subscribe, and at the very least, I will see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.